Okay then gang, so in this lesson, I wanna add some styles to the application because currently it looks terrible. So I'm gonna show you how to do two things. First, we're gonna add some vanilla CSS into the app.css file in the resources folder, and that comes fully baked into the start project. And second, we're gonna install Tailwind CSS, which gives us a bunch of utility classes that we can use to quickly style a few extra things. So then, first of all, how do we add just plain old vanilla CSS to a Laravel project? Well, you can just write it inside the app.css file over here. For example, I could maybe write a body selector and in that I could change the font family to Rubik. Now, this is gonna work for me because I've got Rubik installed on my computer, but it might not work for you. So choose a different font if you want. But anyway, let's also say that the background color of the body should be red just to see if this all works. Right, so We've added a CSS rule and some styles, but they're not gonna be applied just yet because of two things. First, they're not actually being served up. So the Laravel dev server doesn't do that. And second, we're not linking to the app.css file from anywhere in the view. So we need to fix those two things. First up, how do we have the CSS served up on a dev server so that we can use them? And also, why doesn't the Laravel dev server, which we're using to preview the application, just serve them directly? Well, it's because Laravel uses Vite for bundling and compiling front-end assets like CSS and JavaScript. And so it's Vite that also has to serve up the assets for use during development. So you can see over here somewhere near the bottom of the file tree that we have a file called vite.config.js. And if you open that up, you're gonna see this Laravel plugin which references the input locations of the front-end assets within the project and they're inside the CSS and JS folders within the resources directory. So we don't need to change this file. It's already configured correctly for us so that Vite can serve up these files, but we do need to run Vite itself so that it can serve these files to us and we can use them. To do that, we can come to the terminal and type npm run dev. Now under the hood, this runs the Vite command, which spins up a local server with live reload to serve the assets from. So then we generally keep the server running in the background as we make the application if we're applying styles to it. All right, so now the files are being served up and next we need to link to them. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna use a special directive, which is at Vite, and then we pass in a path to the resource we wanna use, like the app.css file. And what that does is allow Blade and Laravel to work out the path to that resource for production and also for development. So what we're gonna do is go to the layout file over here and we're gonna add this directive inside the head. So to do this, we say at Vite and then inside parentheses, we do a path to the resource, which is gonna be into the resources folder, then forward slash CSS, then forward slash app.css. And now this would resolve to the path to that file. Again, during development, this will work and also during production. So let me copy this and save the file because I also wanna put it inside the welcome uh, template because this doesn't have the layout. So I want the CSS to be applied in this file as well as in the layout file. All right then, so that's pretty much everything done. Now let's see if this works in a browser. All right, and now in a browser, we can see that horrible red background. So we know this is working. Now don't worry, we will get rid of the red background shortly because it looks hideous. But now we've hooked up the CSS so we can just start adding styles. Now also we can use Tailwind CSS with Laravel projects out of the box. That's if you're using a recent version of Laravel. So if you are using a recent version, when you scaffold a new Laravel project using Laravel new and then the project name, then it comes pre-configured to work with Tailwind CSS. It has all the packages installed that it needs and also has all the configuration set up. So we can just start using Tailwind classes out of the box, which is awesome. If you're using an older version of Laravel, then you will need to manually install Tailwind CSS. And you can do that by going to the docs, just searching for Laravel. And there is a guide on how to do this right here. So you just walk through all of these different steps. Now, like I said, I'm using a recent version, so we can just go ahead and start using Tailwind classes. And actually inside the web Welcome view, we already have a few CSS Tailwind classes applied, and that's what's causing all of this text to be central on the page. So I'm in the layout file right here, and you can actually see these are the classes, the Tailwind classes applied to some of those elements. We have text center right here, which is taking effect, and that's why we see the text centrally aligned on the page. We also have classes applied to this anchor tag at the bottom. Now, actually, I added these classes 
prior to this lesson so you might not have seen me do this in fact you won't have seen me do these but they are there now and that's why we're getting that little bit of styling on the welcome page now what I'm also going to do is go to the app.css file I'm going to get rid of this body selector and I'm going to paste in a bunch of styles I've already made. Now you can get these from the GitHub uh, repository for the course files if you want to. I just don't want to type them all out from scratch because that wastes your time and my time. This isn't a CSS or Tailwind course. If you want to learn more about Tailwind, I've got a whole playlist about that and I will leave the link down below the video. But anyway, I've applied to uh, some styles to some common elements within the site. And by the way, this is the way I'm working with Tailwind. I'm using this apply directive right here to apply some Tailwind classes to common elements found around the website, as well as some custom classes as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this is for two reasons. First off, like I said, I want to keep the focus more on Laravel, Blade and all that kind of jazz. So I don't want to go in all the templates and start adding the classes to the different elements. That's gonna waste time. And secondly, this is kind of how I like to work with Tailwind anyway, where I'm grabbing all of the common elements like this that appear in multiple places around the website and I apply the Tailwind classes to them. And then I can just sprinkle some extra Tailwind classes into the templates as we need them. In my view, if I have common elements where I'm using the same Tailwind classes throughout different views in a website, it makes no sense to keep repeating them over and over again in all those different views. So I just make them once, and then I just sprinkle some extra classes on top when I need them. Anyway, we have styles for the body, h1, h2, h3, ULP, etc. Also the header and the nav to apply a display of flex. And then down here we have some for the form elements. Then we have some for the custom classes I've created. So the container is from the layout file. We have this made with the class of container. That gives it a max width right here. The card and the highlight classes, they are from the card component over here. So we give every card a class of card and then some cards a class of highlight, right? And that highlight class basically just gives it a border left, which is red. And then finally, we have a button class, which I will apply to various different anchor tags or buttons throughout the website. And in fact, one of those is inside the welcome page. This one right here with a class of button. All right, so I'm going to save this now. And when we preview this in a browser in a moment, you're gonna notice that it's just gonna work out of the box and we don't need to do anything else. We don't need to install anything because it's all pre-configured for us. So if you go to the package.json file down here, you'll see we have post CSS and Tailwind CSS already installed, which is cool. And also right down here at the bottom, we've got this Tailwind config file, which marks out all the different paths to the places we can use these Tailwind classes. And that includes any blade files inside the resources folder. So everything is already set up and ready to go. Also, one more thing, if you go to the top of this file, then you might see little warnings under these things right here. Now to get rid of those warnings, you will need to install a, uh, an extension and that extension is this one right here, post CSS language support. So make sure you install that if you're getting some kind of warning under these things or these things right here. All right then, so now let's preview this in a browser. All right, so that's already looking a lot better on the welcome page. Let's go to the directory page and yeah, that's looking pretty good. We have the nav bar up here looking nice. We can go to the create page, nothing there yet. We will create that form later. But on all ninjas, if we click on one of these to view the details, then again, we go to the details page, but there's no template there just yet. Also notice this highlight class has taken effect on the Mario one. So this is just highlighting ninjas with that high skill value. Awesome, so now we have CSS and Tailwind applied to the project. And in the next lesson, we're gonna move on to the database side of things and take a look at what migrations are.